Hey guys, let's talk about five tips for breaking bad habits in your life. You know, everyone's got bad habits. Everyone needs to learn how to break those bad habits. And so we've got some real basic, simple tips for you to follow. Try these out and see if they can't really set you free from some of the bad habits that you've allowed to be developed in your life. Here's the first tip. Learn the basics. And we're talking about the basics of how habits work. Here's how I like to think about it. Think, feel, do. These are the basics of how habits work. Habits start, a habit is something you know that you're doing, right? But habits don't start with you doing those things. It starts with what you believe. It starts with what you thought about. So if you if you allow, allow a lie to come into your mind, something that, you know, like, oh, it's no big deal if I get drunk. If it's no big, it's no big deal if I, uh, if I look at another, you know, you know, porn video online. Well, that's a lie. And that's where your habit is coming from is you're believing a lie. You've thought first the wrong thing. You've allowed it to penetrate into your heart so that your emotions, your convictions, now it's an emotional thing for you. And eventually you're going to do it and you're going to do it so much that it becomes a habit. So those are the basics of how habits work. Think, feel, do. Be aware of that. And then you're ready for the second tip. And here it is. Start thinking right. Now, you probably saw this one coming. If habits work like this, think, feel, do, you've got to back this thing up and don't try to fix the symptom. Try to fix the problem. The root problem is you're thinking wrong. Start thinking right. Back this thing up and start thinking right again. Make a list. Two things. Lies that I've believed, write that on the left side of your piece of paper, on the right side of your piece of paper, write down truth that you know. Now, hopefully you can go to God's word, the Bible, and find some of that truth. Uh, Dig through our resource library because everything we've got in our library is truth that comes right from the Bible. Make sure that you start thinking right, and then you're ready for the third thing. And here it is, relentlessly pursue the truth. You know that lies and deception are relentlessly pursuing you. So if you want to be delivered from that and the bad habits that come with those lies, then you have to proactively, relentlessly pursue the truth. Don't stop. Don't give up. Don't give it half of an effort. Give it all you can. Relentlessly pursue the truth. Don't sit back and say, well, you know, if I make it to church, great. If I make it to small group, great. You know, if I, if I get a chance to read the Bible, if I get a chance to listen to something that's positive on the radio, well, I'll do it. But if it happens, don't let those things just sort of wander into your life. Relentlessly pursue the truth so you can start thinking right. And here's the fourth tip. Guard your heart. You know that the Bible says that we should guard our hearts because this is where life comes from. And what I take that to mean is If you're not careful, you're going to allow those lies to penetrate your heart. And pretty soon now you go from thinking intellectually about something and convincing yourself that this bad habit's okay to now believing it in your heart and even developing convictions. And now it's gotten to this emotional level that you're even going to fight for your bad habits. Maybe you've done that before. You're going to begin to argue people about your bad habits which doesn't really make any sense, but see, it's gone past your head. It's not about making sense. It's about how you feel now. So that's why the Bible says you need to guard your heart. And the way you do that is by thinking the right thoughts and then telling yourself, I'm not going to feel this other way. I'm going to allow my feelings to be dictated by what I know to be true rather than letting my feelings be dictated by what I want to be true. And then you're ready for the fifth and final tip. Start doing the better thing. So bad habits are formed and you also then can form good habits. Once you think right and you guard your heart and you feel right eventually, and it's not going to feel natural at first, it's probably going to feel awkward, but eventually you'll start doing things because you're thinking right and you're feeling right, you're guarding your heart and pretty soon it it reflects itself in your actions and now all those good habits start to get formed in your life and all habits are hard to break, good or bad. So just as hard as it is to break a bad habit, it's also going to be hard to break a good habit once you start establishing them 
in your life. So try those five tips for breaking bad habits.